Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to pop the tour pack off the Ultra Limited. So I have the quick detach kit for the tour pack. So uh, what I'm going to do is take this thing off and put the passenger backrest on in its place and go for a ride. Okay, in order to accomplish this, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to open up the saddlebags and I have to be able to get to the saddlebag, um, or rather the passenger handhold. And we do that by taking this screw out. Watch that washer. And then flopping the strap over to the other side. Don't have to open the other saddlebag, but I don't want it laying on top of the paint, so that's why I opened that side. Then we have to reach back in here. This might be easier with the tour pack open. And we have to get to the seat bolt, which is that screw right there. Okay, with the seat bolt removed, and of course the passenger backrest taken out, all I gotta do is pull up on the seat, and off it comes. Next thing I'm gonna do is unplug the wire harnesses and reroute them to on top of the battery compartment just to keep them out of the way so they'll be tucked under the seat. I've already unlocked the locking kit for the tour pack, and let me get these harnesses, and I'll be right back. As you can see, the harnesses are now disconnected. And I rerouted them under the seat on top of the ECU. So all I have to do now is release the cam lock, and the tour pack should pop off. Okay, the seat is reinstalled. You can see the passenger handhold strap is in place. Seat bolt is back in place. And again, passenger strap screw is back in place. All the wires are tucked under the seat and sitting on top of the ECU. And I reinstalled the full length AM FM antenna on the relocation mount. I never did the CB relocation kit for that antenna because I figured if I'm doing this, I'm around town, I'm pretty local, I wouldn't be using the CB anyway, which I really do in the first place. So what I'm gonna do now is put the rider backrest back into place and put the passenger backrest on the back. And there we have it, rider backrest installed, passenger backrest installed, that kind of finishes the back end of the bike I think and also helps to keep mama on the back so she doesn't fall off. So this 60 pounds of weight that sits up high and, and toward the back does make a difference when you, when you take it off. It really changes the handling of the bike. You do lose the 12 volt outlet that's inside the tour pack. You lose the light bar on the back for run, brake, turn signal. However, part of the quick detach kit includes saddlebag lights. These are LEDs and they act as run, brake, turn in place of the tour pack. And obviously you lose the extra storage capacity. As long as it's not a, a big trip, don't really need it. 
And of course, you can also add at the same time as the passenger backrest, you could put a, uh, a metal backrest on these docking points as well. So if you didn't want the tour pack on at all, but you wanted to put a travel bag on the back, you'd have to buy an additional metal luggage rack, either chrome or uh, gloss black. And then you could sit your tea bag on top of that and strap it around the passenger backrest as well as put another travel bag or camping stuff on the back seat. All right, that completes it. I'm gonna take the tour pack inside and get my jacket and helmet and I'm gonna go for a ride. Be right back. basically a street glide limited so you get that lower profile but still have the luxuries like the lower fairings the gloss inner fairing the big radio etc looks like we're about to get some weather which at this point I'd really welcome because I worked up a sweat just getting on the motorcycle. It is pretty hot. different without the tour pack on. Got all that extra weight back there. I looked that thing in the house and upstairs. I bet you it's more than 60 pounds. That thing is pretty much awkward weight. But it's still a good amount of weight. The other thing I forgot to mention, which is probably pretty obvious, when you take it off, you lose the two speakers in the back. But we still have the two speakers up front, so that's fine. I can't really hear the radio on this thing anyway. Especially with a, uh, a modular helmet and at highway speeds. Unless I run the corded headset and plug in down here, and I can pretty much hear it, but without that, nah, not so much. So I'm not going to miss the two rear speakers. Every once in a while I, I take that tour pack off just for something different. A different look, a different ride, different feel. When you're used to having all that storage space, man, those two saddlebags fill up quickly. And I'm out by myself right now. You can imagine two up. You just have that much less space.
that's what it looks like without that tour pack doesn't look terribly sleek because that seat is is pretty poofy in the back there and the backrests are, are kind of tall but I've been told that this seat is way more comfortable than the one on the Goldwing and understandable it's got about five inches of padding back there it looks like compared to about an inch on the Goldwing passenger seat so the poofy seat has to stay as does the backrest but that's okay but it looks pretty good I like it doing this conversion if you have an ultra or an ultra limited I highly recommend it it's like having two bikes in one but I do suggest that you get the Harley Davidson branded kit I've read uh, too many instances of guys using aftermarket kits and things don't fit right, they don't line up right, and um, when you're dealing with a very expensive tour pack and all that goes along with it, as well as passenger safety, I think it's worth spending the um, $550 or whatever it is for the Harley brand detached kit and either have them do it or do it yourself. Another question that comes up is should I buy a street glide and turn it into an Ultra or an Ultra Limited. They don't make the Ultra anymore. My opinion on that is the new Street Glide Specials are so expensive they're almost the same price as the Ultra Limited. And you get way more on the Ultra Limited. Except for cosmetic things like the larger front wheel, the extended saddle bags, and custom look for the wheels I think you're better off spending just a very little bit more and it's really not much of a price difference getting everything the Ultra Limited has to offer and then doing the quick detach kit for the tour pack basically have an ultra limited street glide and you take that tour pack off
like this video, if you think you got something out of it, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you think there might be more good stuff coming, and there should be. I don't post a lot, but I try to get some stuff when I can. I've noticed that a lot of my viewers are not subscribers. So if you hit that subscribe button, it will help the channel out a little bit. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you the next time.